Good morning all and welcome to morning prayer on this third Sunday in Advent. Our morning prayer today begins on page 130. Glad you're here today. Let's join in prayer. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. Our King and Savior now draws near. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For Yahweh is a great God, a great King over all other gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the mightiest mountains as well. The sea belongs to him, for he made it, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. O oh, that today you would listen to Yahweh's voice. Harden not your hearts as Israel did at Meribah, as they did at Massa in the wilderness. For there your ancestors tested and tried my patience, even though they saw everything I did. For forty years I was angry with them, and I said, They are a people whose hearts turn away from me. They refuse to do what I tell them. So I swore in my anger, they will never enter my place of rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. Our King and Savior now draws near, O come, let us adore him. The night is past, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son came to visit us in great humility, that on the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Creator of the stars of night, your people's everlasting light, O Christ, Redeemer of us all, we pray you hear us when we call. The earth drew near on darkest night and came, but not in splendor bright, not as a king, but as a child of Mary, Virgin Mother Mild. At your great name, majestic now, all knees must bend, all hearts must bow, all things on earth will one accord. Join those in heaven to call you Lord. To God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit, three in one, praise, honor, might, and glory be from age to age eternally. Amen. You who are thirsty, come to the water. Seek the Lord while he may be found. O Yahweh, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. When I look at the night sky and see the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should th think about them, human beings that you should care for them? You made them a little lower than God and crowned them with honor and glory. You gave them charge of everything you made, putting all things under their authority, the flocks and the herds and all the wild animals the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean currents. O Yahweh, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. 
You who are thirsty, come to the water. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Behold, God has come to save me. I will trust in him. I will not be afraid. Yahweh Elohim is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. With joy you will drink deeply from the fountain of salvation. In that wonderful day you will sing, Thank Yahweh, praise his name. Tell the nations what he has done. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praise to Yahweh, for he has done wonderful things. Let this be known throughout the world. Let all the people of Jerusalem shout and sing with joy. For great is he who lives among you, the Holy One of Israel. You who are thirsty, come to the water. Seek the Lord while he may be found. The Lord, the Mighty One, is God, and he has spoken. He has summoned all humanity from where the sun rises to where it sets. From Mount Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shines glorious radiance. Our God approaches, and he is not silent. Fire devours everything in his way, and a great storm rages around him. He calls on the heavens above and the earth below to witness the judgment of his people. Bring my faithful people to me, those who made a covenant with me by giving sacrifices. Then let the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself will be the judge. O oh, my people, listen as I speak. Here are my charges against you, O Israel. I am God, your God. I have no complaint about your sacrifices or the burnt offerings you constantly offer. But I do not need the bulls from your barns or the goats from your pens. For all the animals of the forest are mine and I own the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird on the mountains, and all the animals of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for all the world is mine and everything in it. Do I eat meat of bulls? Do I drink the blood of goats? Make thankfulness your sacrifice to God, and keep the vows you made to the Most High. Then call on me when you are in trouble and I will rescue you, and you will give me glory. God says to the wicked, Why bother reciting my decrees and pretending to obey my covenant? For you refuse my discipline and treat my words like trash. When you see thieves and approve of them, and you spend your time with adulterers, your mouth is filled with wickedness, and your tongue is full of lies. You sit around and slander your brother, your own mother's son. When did all this? I remained silent, and you thought I didn't care, but now I will rebuke you, listing all my charges against you. Repent, all of you who forget me, or I will tear you apart, and no one will help you. But giving thanks is a sacrifice that only truly honors me. If you keep to my path, I will reveal to you the salvation of God. You who are thirsty, come to the water. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You who are thirsty, come to the water. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Our reading today is from the book of Romans. You know how late it is. Time is running out. Wake up, for your salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is almost gone. The day of salvation will soon be here. So remove your dark deeds like dirty clothes and put on the shining armor of right living. It is now the hour for you to wake up from your sleep. The night is far spent. The day of salvation draws near. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. 
He has come to his people and set them free. He raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. It is now the hour for you to wake up from your sleep. The night is far spent. The day of salvation draws near. Alleluia. As the morning rays enlighten our steps, we give thanks to the Lord our God. For the hope you give us through our faith, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the power which the gospel is proclaimed, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the courage of those engaged in missionary work in hostile lands, we give you thanks, Lord God. And for the serenity that is the inheritance of all who call on you in spirit and truth, we give you thanks, Lord God. As we rise and enter your presence, we ask you to hear our prayers in your mercy and with your love. For your guidance to accompany those who lead the church, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For your strength to accompany those who work for peace in the world, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For your wisdom to accompany those who face challenging choices, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For your mercy to accompany those who struggle with their sins. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. And for your spirit to confirm our faith with simple signs and mighty wonders. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. In the power of the Spirit, we also lift before you the needs and intentions that are close to our hearts. Lord, help us as we struggle with our sins. They are many. We know what they are. We know our struggles. We know our inclinations. Give us faith to overcome temptation. Give us strength to follow you in times of difficulties. Help us not be pulled back. And Lord, even if it means separating friends, separating people we know from us that pull us down, may it be so and may we follow you with our whole heart. Lord, I pray for the monks in the Cistercian Order, the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary, along with Abbot Bernard. Give us your strength. Give us the desire to follow you above all things. And give us the desire to be with you in silence and in prayer. Almighty God, be with those that can't go to church because they're shut in. Be with those that can't even watch Mass electronically because they don't have the means. Touch their hearts. Send people to them to share the love of Christ. And Almighty God, be with those whose loved ones have died over these past few weeks. 
in the funerals that I did. Lord, be with these families. Touch them, especially to have such a grave loss at this time of year of joy and happiness, of Advent, looking forward to Christmas, and then to have a loss of a loved one overhead. Watch over them. Give them your rest, the assurance of salvation, and the peace of heart. O oh God, that you offer through Christ our Savior. The merciful Lord, be with all of us who have family members struggling with mental illness. Help us, Lord, know how to be with them, know how to speak with them, know how to talk with them. Help us be patient and realize not everything they say is really them talking, it's the mental illness. Oh, Father, help us love you more than anything, Lord. With confidence, we lift all these needs before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer that our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of power and might in this Advent season, grant us fresh strength to serve you and others. May Christ find us eager with your work that is coming and may he invite us and in all trust in his mercy and grace to stand at his side in the kingdom where he lives and reigns with you in the spirit now and forever. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God and the word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. Now may the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace. And may souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Thank you for joining with me in prayer today, my brothers and sisters. May we be patient, loving, and kind and look forward to celebrating the birth of Christ tomorrow and just a, or next week and just a week away. And look forward to the second coming of Jesus' glorious return. May the Lord bless you and keep you this week of Advent. Amen.